Ram fans, as you watch this competition with us, one of the cool things that we wanted to bring into the broadcast booth is to let you hear from the drivers as they look back and do it. So Frank Crummel's in the booth with Adam Anderson. Frank, here's your run. What was going on? Well, you know, as we've been saying, Scott, you know, you can't, I really didn't have much of a plan. I just wanted to try to get out there, get started, and see where the track took me. Just wherever direction it sent me, I was going to go that way. Well, Frank, I don't think you can have much of a plan. I think the plan is your very first hit, and after that, you're just along for the ride. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened here. Yeah, that, well, that's what happened here. We don't want here. to talk about that, Frank. <laughs> I don't, I didn't, I'm not even going to acknowledge it. I just backed up. <laughs> That's all right. You got to make up from, for it somewhere, though. Oh yeah, you know the truck was working good. You know Mark Hansen and the guys worked on it all year. Did a great job with it, and uh, we had so much fun this first quarter representing Fox Sports One. And uh, we definitely wanted to come out here in the World Finals and, and put on the best show we could. You know, mom and dad came out, Frank Senior, my mom. So uh, they had a great time, and we always have a great time here at the World Finals. But here, I was just trying to trying to do something. I was I, I couldn't really see the guys before me, so I was just trying to go corner to corner and, and do the best I could. It's tough out there, Frank. It is Vegas. you got to gamble, and, and if you don't gamble on the edge, sometimes it'll bite you in the tail, but you're doing a great job out here, man. You had a great run, solid run going on. Getting a little twisted up, get around here, lined up. They just brought that box van out there that wasn't out on the track the entire time. Oh, you attacked it with... Oh, wow. That was aggressive. <laughs> I think the cradle... <laughs> hung up on the cradle there, but no, I saw them drag that bread truck out there. I figured I might as well hit it, and uh, it worked out. Could, could have get it, could have been a disaster, but it worked out. It really can. You you approached nice and straight, and you, you made it through, and that's all that matters, man. I set my GPS to finish, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah, see here, you, you know, when you, if you get a little winded out there, get the wind knocked out of you a little bit, you throw her into a donut ad, and that's the old veteran Don't trick. Don't tell people that. It's embarrassing that you can't breathe. You're doing a donut. Yep. No, I got, actually, I don't know if you run into this, but I actually have to tell myself to breathe sometime in the truck. You do, you do that. Look at that, you're wiping your brow off. No, my, my glasses actually came uh, off. They do make contacts. This is 2014. Frank. I don't like touching my eyes, so I have to stick with the glasses. Okay. I don't know what it is. Look at that. Nosed her in there. <laughs> yeah. Back to the bread truck. Yeah, now this, this is the point of the run where I'm thinking, man, i got to start. I got to roll the dice here. The time's running out, but, you know, once you know, once I had that nosedive deal, I think I throw it into a donut and... Let's see where we end up. Breathing again. Breathing again, <laughs> Frank. And it's tough out there, man. You go out there and you don't even realize. Sometimes you're out there and it feels like you're out there for a few seconds, and then sometimes you go out there and it feels like you're out there for 45 minutes. It was a good, solid run, man. You you, you beat the track that night, that's for sure. All right, Cletus. Cletus got the win there, Scott. Well, that makes it, if we're keeping score, five and five. So five of the, of the first ten have gotten into bonus time, five have not. Frank, let's go back to that moment and hear from Frank Kremel. Started out nice, trying to get clean, get going, get moving, and uh, had a couple good combinations, some big air hits here and there. Uh, just trying to traverse it. It was like, it's like trying to drive through a mountain range. Oh, high and low, high and low. And, uh, you know, we filled our time, got into bonus. Uh, felt pretty good about the run. There's a lot of trucks ending early, you know, and, and we want to give them the, the most we can out there. And, you know, I don't know what any moment, I'm, I don't even know what my score was, but all that mattered to me is when I stopped, I looked in the crowd and waved to the kids and pointed at the fans, and they were cheering and they were happy. And a couple points during my run, I could hear them in the truck cheering. So a field full of Monster Jam World Freestyle Pass champions are going to have a crack at Captain America, the current leader, at 30.5 Barbarian. Very impressive. Look at those new.